So ironically, while everybody in the Americas in the 1700s is pursuing happiness, the world starts to notice Russia, who's perfecting depression. <laughs> Russians always in a bad mood. You ever try to cheer up a Russian? How you doing? What did you like me to say? <laughs> Even back then, people come up to Ivan the Terrible. Ivan the Terrible, how are you? What's my name, shithead? Uh, but two and two together, no, you know. Peter the Great, Peter, you must be great. Your name, it's sarcastic, asshole. That's meant for like a... That's why no army could ever defeat Russia. They'd go in there like any army, enthusiastic, ready to fight, but after a couple of hours, just turn to each other. I can't do this, you know? I feel overwhelming indifference and like an apathy. I just want to lie down. They'd all start lying down. It would turn into the poppy seed from the Wizard of Oz, you know? The Russian army knew this. They'd leave copies of Tolstoy and Dostoevsky to further demoralize them. Like, they're right, it is pointless. It really is. Let's, let's just surrender. Yeah. But they have a good reason to be jaded because the one time they tried to be idealistic, Russia, they failed Marxism. Failed from day one, by the way. Marxism failed from day one because, first of all, Marxism, everybody's equal, nobody's superior. Karl Marx, Frederick Engels thought it up together. Engels even paid for it. Marx came back with the flyers. Engels, like, all right, rally for Marxism. Where's my name, uh, Carl? I see Marxism, but it's everybody's equal, nobody's uh, superior, but... You know, Marx was like, I had to make the call, I was at the printer. We tried Engelsism, did that even make sense to you? Come on. You know how it is, comrade. Don't call me comrade, I'm not your comrade anymore, asshole. But it's sad, no system works. All these brilliant minds, never a system that works at all. Marxism doesn't work. Communism doesn't work. Capitalism doesn't work. Even democracy doesn't work. People go, hey, democracy is the best form of government. How'd you like to live in the worst system ever? Fascism, you only have one choice for your leader. We live in the best system ever. Democracy, we have two choices. <laughs> so we have one more choice than the worst system in the history. Of the <laughs> I mean, no, but the way we brag about it, you think it was 50 choices. And even two choices is not kind of an illusion because nobody votes for the other party. And who's more hated than Ralph Nader for trying to start a third party? <laughs> We're like, hey, Ralph, it's democracy. <laughs> you ever heard of it? <laughs> Democrats, Republicans, Coke, Pepsi, McDonald's, Burger King. You know who's a troublemaker, Ralph? Wendy's. <laughs>